Houston. On Saturday, June 25th, it's WWE Live. Seth Rollins returns with a vengeance. I'm back for one thing. That's the title I never lost. Seth Rollins battles Roman Reigns for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. It's the WWE Live SummerSlam Heat Wave Tour, Saturday, June 25th. Tickets and VIP packages are available. This is Mick Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Jimmy Jack Cash against the Texas Outlaw. Jack, what a matchup this is going to be, but we, we have to talk about what we just oh, saw. Oh, definitely. As we watch the power displayed by trifecta member Jimmy Jack Cash as he takes on the Texas Outlaw, another individual making his MWF debut. Franklin D. Churchill what making was some that? rather bizarre comments about the former MWF heavyweight champion Tiger Mulligan. What was that? He apparently is very concerned about Tiger Mulligan's physical and, I guess, emotional well-being. He didn't exactly give an answer, right? truthfully, one way or the other. He just had excuse after excuse after excuse. That made no sense. He said he cares about him. He's concerned about his health. As we are, Jack. We want to see Tiger oh. Mulligan back in 100%. I just say he made no sense. He was just rambling and rambling and rambling. He looked rather upset near the end of it. Nonetheless, Jimmy Jack Cash is facing a man just maybe even a little bigger than him in the Texas Outlaw. Oh! Well, and that says that to the yep. Outlaw boot to the midsection. Jimmy and Jack, then a body slam. This trifecta member Jackal, along with Danny Jackson, Dylan Cage, a man that's impressed WWE of late. He perhaps could be headed down to Connecticut. As many of the superstars do here in the That's MWF. That's very, very true. MWF Soul Survivor 2004 was requested by the office itself. I don't think the same could be said for the Candyland. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking Look about. Look at that right. That wasn't sugar-coated. Nope. Referee will begin a count here. Look at those knees, Ooh, Jack. We're seeing some aggression from Jimmy Jack Cash. That's what we like here, aggression. Right to the post. Is that Mark Madden in the front row? Is it? No, oh. I, I don't believe so. I haven't seen him in quite some time. I believe he's still doing radio out in Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, I believe you're correct. There. I believe he still does the show. Well, even he's checking out the MWF. I already enjoys the webcasts. Indeed. Working over the outlaw. Oh! From Austin, Texas, Jackal. It's been a night of debuts here in Ultra. Very true. John Thornhill, the Texas outlaw. The Vachon brothers. Bob Granada. And the crafty veteran himself, Leo Venus. Back in action. I'll tell you one thing. I know Jimmy Jack Cash will be in action Friday, August 5th. He has a huge grudge match sign when he takes on Slick Wagner Brown, a man he cost the championship gold not once but twice. Twice. That's going to be an outstanding matchup. And I know you are looking forward to seeing April Hunter back in the MWF. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll tell you, August 5th is going to be a night we're not going to forget, Jackal, as we pay tribute to our good friend the Iron Cheek making a special appearance in Blackstone, Mass., St. Teresa's Parish Bingo Hall. Jimmy Jack Cash will be in action with Slick Wagner Brown. Another trifecta member, Sudden Impact Dylan Cage, who is the MWF Heavyweight Champion, will be defending the gold against Luis Ortiz. Well, that's going to be one hell of a matchup. Wow, look at that power display from Cash. The outlaw could be done. He better call oh, somebody. No. no, he's out at two. Tell you, Jimmy Jack Cash Jack, he's a man I that I he think thinks he should have got the three count on that one. I think he can beat anybody in any given Drop day. Drop kick! Good old fashioned Texas Bulldog! But he covered the wrong leg too. This is the second time I've seen it tonight with the newcomers. They're hooking the wrong leg. If he's right handed, he's obviously going to power out on the right. 
Oh, elbow. Right around, Jack. Oh, yeah, you're right. But they may be unfamiliar with their opponents. I'll tell you, I was watching the Texas Outlaw work out in the ring earlier this afternoon. Very impressive. You'd think, again, the ropes were going to cave in. The Outlaw is giving cash a run for his yes. money. Off the ropes. Oh! We've seen someone from Uncasville, Connecticut. We have cash in the ring. It's all about money. Nope. Two count again. He's getting upset. And you can't do that. You can't get upset. Jack, like we said oh. earlier, you know the Texas Outlaw wants to be there on Friday, August 5th. You know he wants to impress MWF officials and be there for Iron Sheik Appreciation Night. Everybody's going to be in Blackstone, Jackal. Oh, yes. Well, almost everyone. Are you talking about one of our former friends? No. No? Oh, all right. Drop kick! Another drop wow. kick from the big man. Got to be a good 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, oh, easy. Two count only. Cash powers out. He's a powerful individual. Note, he does not have Dylan Cage or Danny Jacks with him tonight at Ringside Jackal. Remember what they did to poor Tiger Mulligan back at Soul yep. Survivor in that classic ladder match that you called. Yeah, you were there too. I was busy looking for Dustin Rhodes at the time. But, oh, I you were there for match. part of the match. He's trying to put Cash to sleep. Oh, wait a minute. That could be it. Down once. Down twice. This could be it. No. no. Jack, they could finish off any opponent any night of the That's week. That's true. Jimmy Jack Cash gets out of it. I understand from my director, Pat Doyle, in my earpiece, Leo Venus is still out cold. What is that? That's a shame. Those Vachon Rather brothers, unfortunate as well. The Vachon brothers are animals, Jackal. Yep. I understand they're going to be part of that big MWF tag team title, Royal Rumble at Iron Cheek Appreciation Night, August 5th. That's going to be one hell of a matchup, let me tell you that. Tickets are available online, from what I understand. And they'll be available tonight. Locked! The Locked! Oh. He wore the outlaw down. Whoop. Oh. Almost hit the referee. Almost! And he oh, did. Goodbye, ref. Cash is thinking, Jackal. They haven't made it this far in professional wrestling without some brains and intelligence and some underhanded tactics. You're going to see underhanded tactics a lot in this business. Oh, oh chop. Devastating. Texas Outlaw's chest is blistering, Jackal. Should be. Oh, boom to the face. Spine Buster! That could be it, but the ref uh, out. could be it, but no, the ref is out. Three, One, four, two. five. Oh, look at it. He's counting. Well, we know something. Texas Outlaw wants to retire from wrestling. You become a ref. Counted pretty good there. There aren't too many oh. six foot four referees around Jaggle. And if there are referees that big, that's uh, no good. Without a shadow of a doubt. Notice one thing, Jackal? You don't see a pipe above the ring. No. What's Cash doing? He's over by the cameraman I'm and man. the Texas Outlaw manhandle the official. He's got that baseball bat. Oh! Ah, oh, come on. It's assault. Shades of Manny Ramirez. Oh! He's pummeling This is wrong. Choking him out with it. That's, Jackal, did that's, he really need sad. to go that far no, with that, that that's, At this point, the cop should be called. I love this. He's trying to... No, that's, that's, that's wrong. He's that's, pretending he's out cold. Trying to get the referee back into the match. Referee's coming out. He's going to see both men down. Look at Cash. Unbelievable. I'm sure Commissioner Ref Von is still Johnson a little will do uh, woozy this. there. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How Kogan he is not. Hey, what's Sad. this? Recliner like maneuver. 
Well, after what he did to his the, his back with the baseball yeah, that, bat, I don't sick. think he's no getting up. No doubt about it. Texas outlaw, uh, he's going back to the ranch. And this is it. That's it. That's it. Another victory for the trifecta, Jack. He was out. When? He was out before he put it on him. When are they going to lose? Perhaps August 5th at Iron Cheek Appreciation Night. I'll tell you this, Jack, when we come back, we'll see the Iron Cheek himself. Special interview pre-recorded early tonight. And look at the outlaw. Look at this. Tossing like, like